I just realized none of that recorded. Damn it. Anyway, long story short, Until Dawn Part 1 was the prologue. Uh, you got to observe the twins. They were up in a mountain cottage and they ended up dying by a guy who was wielding a machete. Well, they kind of fell to their death, but anyway, there was a flamethrower or something involved. It looked like kind of. Um, I don't know what else could put out that much fire. And now here we are a year later and the brother of the twins who died is like, hey, let's have a party at the uh, cottage, blah, blah, blah. So everybody's coming. It's either one or two years later. I'm not entirely sure, but it's like the one of the anniversaries of it. And he wanted to, and I quote, party like porn stars. That is what he said. And this guy looks like Sid, the kid from Toy Story, which I'm still not over. But anyway, um, now I am Sam, who I believe is voiced by Hayden Panettiere, which is pretty cool. And here we go. Hopefully I don't make the wrong choices. <sighs> Character traits, relationships. Okay. Oh, and I did get a totem, actually. I forgot. I got a death totem, which showed the death of the twins, I believe. Or, yeah, there's Hannah and Beth. And then, play. The event of the past. I wonder if that has something to do with the, uh, 1952 clues that I have no understanding of yet. But, event of the past. Alright! Need. So it appears as though totems unlock pieces of the event of the past, so I'm gonna have to make sure I get all the totems, because I want to know what all that is. Alright. So... Let's go to this gate here. Gates busted. Climb over. Alright. Guess I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Oh, glinting. Alright. Hmm. I don't like it out here. Um, climb. Okay, I'm safe. I didn't want to take too long because of the thing out there, the guy with the machete and the, well, I if he's still out there, but this would be a very short game if he wasn't, so. Aww. A squirrel. Hello. You hungry? Huh? Oh god. Don't, uh... <laughs> Kitty. Uh, those... I don't like that not moving thing. I have to like not breathe. <laughs> it's awful. Ah. Stars. Hey, is that another totem? Oh, cool. Cause it totally looks like a totem. And I'm excited. Death, black butterflies, prophesize the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterfly 
Alright. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. The tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Alright. And guidance, that looks yellowy. Okay. I kept pushing buttons and it was like, no. I like her nails. Okay. I wasn't very... wasn't very, uh... Insightful, to say the least. Yas, R1 to view totems. Alright. Past is beyond wow, our control. Sanatorium. Oh, wait. If there's only a lodge, then why would there be a sanatorium? A cable car, that doesn't make... Okay. I don't know why there would be a sanatorium here, it's in the middle of BFE. Welcome, Chris? viewer. You here? Trying to make good choices and not ruin my game. Trying. What's this? Milgram Victor. Male 62 Blackwood Pines. 98. Okay, and the picture has been torn off, so that, uh. Let's examine the clue, shall we? A torn up on a poster about a fugitive on the mountain, dated 1988. Someone didn't want people to see this. That's what I was getting at. Was that ripped poster? Definitely someone did not want that being seen. So, Victor Milgram, eat one. I'm not, I don't want to run into you. Okay, so I suppose we can go on and. Oh, what's this? Glinting! Bags here. Not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Hmm. Bitch, don't be rude. That was a damn bag. Maybe I shouldn't know about Chris's stuff. Chris! Sam! Hey! Alright, so that it. somehow just changed the narrative of the game, not looking at a phone. Alright. That's, that's new. Oh, so, I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you, you gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here, I'm gonna blow your mind. You know, I was just asking the same Josh's damn dad. thing about the sanatorium. Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright. Here goes. I don't trust him with a gun by the way he's holding it. Hmm. There's a lot of uncertainty there. Wow, nice shoe. 
Sharpshooter. Right. I'm, I'm being a derp. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. I can't even see what those are. Well, anybody and their brother can shoot a bottle that big, that close. No, not the cute little squirrel. I just fed him like five minutes ago. My little squirrel friend. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Phrasing. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Said they found people okay, sleeping yeah, in the station one time. It's creepy. So then open the door. I imagine it's pretty cold out here. Jeez. Rude. Hotel and sanatorium. What a crazy place to set up house. You no matter think? how rich you are. I'm not so rich. And we bought a mountain. But a sanatorium. That was thunder. I can understand a hotel. I mean, there's hotels on mountains all the time, but a sanatorium, still I can't understand why on earth a sanatorium would be so high on a mountain when there's really nothing else. Like, how many people with long-term conditions did you anticipate? I don't understand. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but... Get in there. I'm just like going to the prom. <laughs> Here you go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, yeah no, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of a worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. <laughs> what kind of kid does okay, so, that? So I got moved to the back. Uh, and? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, that day, decided to wear a low cut shirt. Everybody, welcome to the from. stream and hi, Bubba. Bubba's my brother. You could be brother. riding in this cable car alone. 
right now. Or we're talking Blowing to some my other phone person up. entirely. Well, I'm clearly busy. Oh. Yes, that means what you. Hmm. Calling me a nappy heifer. Shame on you. Probably put on more and not what so much skin Jen? showing in the hey. cold. Jessica, over woman. here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please bitch. let us out? Pretty She's please. Kind of a bitch. I don't like her already. Oh my God! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh. Look, I've got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have? Chris! Here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of? Imagining? Erotica? That's a bit much. Give that shit back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. Tool. That's my mom. That was appropriate oh, for the moment. Maybe Although she's kind of a bitch, so. Goes around in other people's not entirely sure that she doesn't uh, deserve it. Yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess. You can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? You know, I can't say that I'm going to be upset if Jess dies. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Dead. <laughs> You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Welcome to Woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of he things? He seems like Seriously, a douche with potential you? for good. I'm trying to lighten Mike. the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like potential. The way you're being, you always get like this. Mm. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, Matt. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. That was big of you, Matt. That was so good. good. I All like good. you. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car. That was good. Right. See you, man. <laughs> See ya. Right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, 
could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Are you sure you're trying to talk to Sam and not Mike? Because he just went that way. All of a sudden, now you want to go that way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I'll just agree. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more yeah. even, at least. You do. I'll think about it. No, 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 no. Not how this works. Thank you. Emily, entitled bitch. Hmm. So, Emily and Jess, so far I wouldn't be entirely upset if they died. Ashley has a crush on Chris, academic, forthright, and inquisitive. Whoa, hello. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Called it! I'm not in the friend called zone it, kind called of it, way. called it. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Mm-hmm. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, Sorry. whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No, no. Uh, all right, well. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, yes. Oh. Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? It could be innocent, nothing, though. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Hmm. Well, check my phone. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. For who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Boom. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you know that? Snowballed. But not not the bad Where kind. Are you the all right man. kind with an actual snowball. Why is there romantic oh. music playing during the snowball fight? Hey! Oh, snap! Oh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go Done down? Done city. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds Crazy. vaguely dirty. Yes. My lady. All right, no humping. Come on. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. I'm Endless saying. Reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. All right, so some some stuff has happened. This guy again. Hello again. All right, so as you guys know, we're about to go on to part two, so I'm going to stop the stream and start a, another one once this is done. In our last session, we established you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. And no one used this, this time, for profiling me for practical jokes? I'm going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. He likes to ask me questions about what scares me so far. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. You know, I really like not water in my lungs, so definitely fear of drowning. Um, well, really neither. I think they're both pretty cute. Mm, I'll just go with snakes. Hmm. You know, I should be more afraid of a gun, but for some odd reason I'm more afraid of a knife. Just those large open wounds. I know guns can make that too, but I mean, without buckshot, it may not be as large as a huge knife. Ah. Alright, knives it is. Bloop. Ew. I don't fear them, but they're gross, so I'm choosing them. What is up with his giant pen? It's huge. <laughs> ah, I hate them. Mm, I don't even like looking at it. Crows nor gore are scary or disgust me. But I'll just say gore. Did I startle you? A little. You do me Prick. very well. Don't be nervous. Prick. With your giant, unneeded pen. You're very nice tissue Try box. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I thought, well, all right, I'll go quicker. All right, uh, definitely spiders. Um, I don't fear needles and gore doesn't disgust me, but I'll just say gore again. I give blood every 56 days. Needles do not bother me. Zombies don't scare me, but clowns are awful. 
No, 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 no. Uh, definitely don't fear dogs. I have two of them out there scratching at the door. Neither, so I'll just keep going with Gore, I guess. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. I don't like the way you do Spires, weird mouth things. Clowns. An awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> to one of us, maybe? Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Again. You can always for subscribe to my YouTube or the see the links sisters. for this on my Facebook uh, if you wanted to watch the first part and missed it or something. But anyway, thanks so for watching, and I'll go ahead and start part three. That's how we met. Boom.